Finally! We're finally doing one of these games! Squeenix. Oh, and the game just launched. Alright, everybody, bye. Have a great time. Thanks for watching. No! We're gonna close up now. Okay, no, keep going. I mean, this game released a year ago. I Shut think. up. He kinda sorta, yeah, on the PS4, but it just recently got a Switch version as of today. And I played it a year ago. <laughs> Good for you. That said, let's get started and hope I don't get any copyright strikes. Welcome to Hi. Dragon Quest Builders, which is a spin-off of the main Dragon Quest series that actually this one got some pretty good reviews. Oh yeah. And this one's based off the very original Dark uh Dragon Quest. I was gonna say I thought this was I thought this was a spin-off of, of Minecraft. Uh, it's uh, essentially it's essentially Dragon Quest with Minecraft elements. Yeah, it it's how about this? It's Minecraft. It's time to but design with, your character. Uh, with it's Minecraft, but with actual like progress and things to do. I thought that was it's, Axel. It's uh, Minecraft with plot. I thought you were about to say it's Minecraft, but it's actually good. <laughs> that too. <laughs> it's Dragon Quest, but with blocks. Mm. Actually, uh, what Icky said, actually, this is based on... Uh, the... Tara, if you ever watch this, I ever doubt you do, this is to you. Ooh. Uh, what's the joke? Oh. Alan. Alan! 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 Thank you. Okay! <laughs> Joy! I is good for another day. She's gonna kill me later. Anyway, here's how it all starts. With the Dragon Lord from the first game. Oh, oh no, Maleficent. Gosh dang so, it, not again. thou art come before me at last. I am the Dragon Lord, Master of Masters, King of Kings. Who? Lord of the Manor, Long King of the Castle. I awaited this moment. <laughs> come, take thy rightful place at my side. Do so, and I will grant a tongue. Unto the dominion over half this world. Dot dot dot. Who wouldn't? Thou wishest not for half the world. Yeah. I only want a quarter of the world. I oh, no, I want all of it. Wilt thou not reconsider? No. Tis an offer few would refuse. Mm. Good thing the subtitles are on. Yeah. Otherwise, nobody would understand a fucking fucking thing I'd say. Yeah. Sorry, but with that said, no, yeah, no. this is technically an alternate timeline where the hero fucks up. What? Yep. Yeah. Where the hero mm -hmm. in the first game actually does team up with the Dragon Lord, and the Dragon Lord backstabs him and kills him. Oh, oh this is a bad future. Oh, what? What a jerk. Anyway, don't mind the fact that I'm pretty much going to be t um, cutting out, um, skipping past these um, the subtitles for this goddess here because, well, we don't really have a woman, and I'd rather not do my lady, my crappy lady impression right now. And apparently it's he doesn't trust us to do a lady impression. Oh no. Well, uh, oh, you know what? If you insist, hype you go ahead. Hmm. Actually, um, I, was think, I was thinking Icky. <laughs> you know what? Go ahead, Icky. Nah. Go Icky. Okay. Go Icky. <clears throat> Alan, my child, <laughs> you are finally awoken. This is a woman! That's a who very cares? magical lady. It's a god. Do you remember who you are? Do you remember what you are? She just got to have surgery, and she's still adjusting. Yeah, who's to say a goddess can't supersede mm. the expectations of how women sound? Steamed hams! I see. <laughs> so you have no recollection of before. No matter. Indeed, perhaps it is for the best. It is It is hinted that this character could possibly be the either the reincarnation or the original hero just weakened to a state. After so long a slumber, no doubt your body will still be weak. Arise, my child, oh, yeah, and see that you can move freely. A weakened into a And get a burger while you you're at it. I say move around. You found the center of the universe. Let's get Cannot moving! Move. Icky. So, you here's our hero. Oh, I'll be right back. And okay. with that beautiful Akira Toriyama art. Uh, how, what was his involvement in this game? Akira Toriyama, basically, he does the art for every single Dragon Quest, no matter God, what. Well, do, do, they, do they realize how much money he's probably ripping off and or making off of all these games from that from them? Oh, of course. Probably Actually, chase real out quick. The also, you uh, <clears throat> the, your role. I, that was a typo. Alan, my child, I have awoken you that you might perform a vital task. It didn't spell fulfill properly. It had one L. It's supposed to have two L's at the end. A task upon yeah. which the fate of this very world may... 
Oh, sorry about that. My shoes are on. I do not doubt that you might feel okay. a little poorly, but is not the fate of the world more important than... Oh, my poor child, it is true! You are nearly at death's door. It seems your lengthy slumber has robbed you of your strength. This is a bad idea. <laughs> How glad this is going? Here, my child, take these white petals. You can use them to restore your vitality. By the way, the main character is kind of a dick in this, and the goddess is kind of a pissy bitch. Not going to okay. lie. Yeah. Right. Hey, Good. Oh. One sec. Anyway, um, oh, I was... Okay, no worries. It's okay. Anyway, so, bless you with special power. The power to combine raw material... Okay, it's it's crafting. Yep. Pretty yeah, much. Crafting. But I go was ahead, about to ahead, ask... You were saying um, something. Yeah, the, the guy you were talking about that did the art design, um, is he the same person that... The, just to make sure I'm thinking of the right person, is it the same guy that does the art for the Dragon Ball series? Yes, it is. Yes, yeah, it is. He, Akira Toriyama is the creator of Dragon Ball, uh, and a lot of video games uh, love using his art style, but ever since Dragon Quest, uh, he has been huge in the video game scene, actually. Like, uh, oh, yeah. he, gotcha. he's did, he, he did the art for Chrono Trigger, he did the art for Blue Dragon, uh, and every single Dragon Quest game. Which, yes. though I like his art, there are other artists I want to see, like, I wish Dragon Quest did a thing where they would change the artist to a different manga artist each game, because I really want to see, like, Aikishiro Odo, the creator of uh, One Piece, draw a Dragon Quest game. I want a Junji Ito Dragon Quest game. I'm sorry He's about all the frequent interruptions. Uh, He's, sorry, a, very, it's okay. he's a very well-known horror <laughs> manga artist. Ah... Uh. So basically, Alan, the my child, a sacred duty rests upon your young shoulders. You must. Are you just? Are you even gonna listen I, to me? I can't speak over all okay. these nunderheads. Then we should probably stop because we're all in the middle of talking anyway. And Sorry. I basically, uh, ju to put into context, Junji Ito was almost going to be the guy who was contracted to do the monster designs for Silent Hills. I could imagine that. It would have been so cool if Konami didn't accidentally like inhale too much in uh, too much gas like, methane gas that day and thought, you know what? I don't think I want to make money today. Let's do the exact opposite. Anyway. Yeah. Congratulations, you Icky. have made a baseball bat. Icky. Pretty much. Yeah? Look, it is the center of the universe. Do not touch it. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> yeah, but anyway, all, all wait. the stuff that goes... Dude, wait. Thing. Don't tell me. Wait. Just walks away. All this stuff <laughs> Anyways, that... um... If we could talk about the actual game for a oh, second, right. I think, I think yeah, yeah, getting yeah, I was going to do that. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, all the stuff <clears throat> the goddess says is pretty much just, hey, here's how to build shit and beware. There, oh, actually, I was. This one's the part I like. Here's how to build stuff. Here's how to collect materials. Oh. Here's how to heal yep. yourself. Here's how to maintain asleep. stats and whatnot. Here's how to fall asleep. Oh. Wait, did Why you fall asleep, asleep again? Yeah, we fell asleep. Yeah, we did. So let's gather up some birth and get the hell out of here. Yeah, oh, for Minecraft. Because I actually want to see the game, and this <laughs> is just one room, and there's already more talking actually, than half of the Banjo Kazooie games. Time to collect some brown bricks. Um, I wanted to make. starting to get the feeling that reading through all that text was kind of a bad idea. Maybe, Maybe but anyway, um, I, I want to make a joke, but I want to make sure before I make it. How long has this guy been asleep for again? Forever. Just for as long as the game requires him to be. Yes. Okay, well, just for the sake of a number, I'll just say 10,000 years. Boy, you've been asleep for 10,000 years. You do not need a double damn nap. That is true. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> Compared to Minecraft, you can only break uh, harder blocks with the right kinds of uh, pickaxes or hammers, or weapons. Right. Otherwise, otherwise, your own material, otherwise, your own instruments would break themselves. Yep. Yeah, but much like it, unfortunately, all of your uh, materials that you use to whack stuff um, have stamina meters. Oh. Yeah. Yep. So it's weapon vitality in the same vein as uh, Breath of the Wild. By the way, gotcha. I have a theory as to why, as to why the world will appear so blocky. And why they set this in the Dragon Quest One game? 
work. Because it's a 3D... No, because it's a 3D translation of a 2D uh, 8-bit game. Correct! And everything was really fucking blocky there. Back in the good old days, the world used to be made of blocks. In also, black. Okay. also, as huge as Final Fantasy is, Dragon Quest has been has been a longer hmm. running franchise. Just going to point that out to people. I know. Well, I know. Yeah, it's been going on since gotcha. like the early yeah. NES. And apparently, well, gee, I'm I'm so glad you think of me that way, Miss Rubus. You're not a hero. You're not even a junior hero. <laughs> the oh. Cantlin Plains. The Ravaged Realm. Uh oh, tree things. Look at all those evil trees. Oh, it, um, hmm. Goblins um, I feel it's safe to mention that every enemy that you fight in this game is actually from the first Dragon Quest, so you're not going to see anything from, like, later installments. Yep. Here you're going to find, like, slimes, uh, those little mallet dudes. Oh, none of the uh, bodies or whatever. The golems. No platinum. The golems, the drakies. No uh, the yetis. The Yetis. Icky Yetis. Yeah. Are there no Platypunks? Uh, I don't think there are Platypunks in this. Yahoo! Ow! Ow. Oh, yeah, yeah, fall damage there in this game. fall damage? Yes. And it's really pathetic. Three blocks is a long way. That's dumb. Yes, it is. That's yeah. about as pathetic as Karakrisi's fall damage. But yeah, just going back to Platypunks real quick, that instantly makes me think of, um, Logan, I assume that you know quite a bit of Team NT. Do you know who the Punk Frogs are? The Punk Frogs? I, I know about the Battle Toads, but not the Punk Frogs. <laughs> okay, because I was about Cosmic to say okay. Cosmic. Yes. So just going to say, Platy Punks are not in this game. They are all, they uh, appeared in the fourth game. Go, James. I bring forth the night! <gasps> okay, basically what I'll say is that platypunks just makes me think of a bunch of uh, platypuses in the form of, like, a biker gang. Honestly, Behold, that's what they are. a tiny plot that of them. That is what they are. Like, they have sunglasses, guns. Yeah. Yeah, depending on which game, they're either just a round, fuzzy, platypus-looking thing, or, or like, leather jacket-wearing badasses. Exactly. Still round and fuzzy. Now, I will admit, the one thing I don't really enjoy about uh, Dragon Quest Builders is how small the towns are. This is oh, a yeah. Like, this yeah. is an entire yeah, town? This is a, yeah, this is an entire town. A 32 by 32 bit grid. What's this funny flag doing here? There's something special about this place. It's so bright and inviting. I especially like My the death Pippa. trap. What's yours? Pippa. Pippa Peg? <gasps> no! No! Get her away! <laughs> no! So you James, do not belong here! So this has just been a bunch so, of, like, BS. <laughs> let's go back yeah, and okay, so on? let's just give out context. Basically, because of the Dragon Qu the Dragon King's whole bullshit, he's taken over the world, and he's put a very dastardly spell, wh which causes all the inhabitants of the world, save for his monsters, to lose the ability to know what creation even is. Wow. Wow. They can't build shit. Oh. Well, in, how... fact, in fact, it's so, bad that, it's so bad that even their literature's pretty much diminished to, the, diminished to that of fucking gibberish caveman yeah you'll see so it's ba yeah it is caveman times wow kind of sort of yeah yeah at the very least we have better resources than what the cavemen had back then mm -hmm. uh, then again if they weren't for that fact we wouldn't be here today sure but okay mm -hmm. so here's our first major gimmick being able to build a building all you need is to have wa have have walls that are um, two story two two blocks high and encased completely and um, you also have to have a door Okay. Well, the one thing that you don't need is a ceiling. Or roof. Right. No, right. Ceilings are ceilings are man. And ceilings are optional. Right. Yeah, That's which is kind of weird. So fuck, fuck you, Rain. Yeah, I was about okay, to say. So go. Four completed walls. Looks dumb, but there you go. Four completed walls. And we fixed it with dirt. Yeah. I thought you were just a weird boy with voices in his head. <clears throat> but you completely fixed that broken down old house. You must have some kind of special power. Yes, I, uh, I can build shit. So I can what? pick up blocks and put them down. And as a just... reward, she gives us, um... Oh, white metals. Sweet. Those are your health items. You make potions with those. Speaking of which, I'll go ahead or and uh, healing build, some, cream. build some more right now. Okay. Or, you know, healing cream. I Oh, yeah, um, well. one thing I'd like to point out is every item that you have in the game has a description that's entirely uh, alliterative. Oh yeah, that, that's, that's always a fun little thing they do. 
Yeah, it makes me smile whenever I read one of the description. It's like... <laughs> yeah. Does what? You've got the power to build new things? Mm -hmm. It's called oh, imagination, you dunderhead. What does build mean? <laughs> See what I mean, though? Yeah. It means to make two things into one. I thought that was marriage. Away, but yeah. No. Ah. Boy, I'm so glad that we live in an age where we've all forgotten how to build things except for modestly dressed clothing to maintain a family-friendly rating. How? What a travesty. Ew. 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 And, and French. She gave us slime. Really Actually, speaking of uh, clothing, I gotta say, I find it kind of distracting that he that our protagonist here has this sweet blue hat, but he has fucking rags on. Yeah, what's like, the deal with this? It's called plot device. Yeah, at the very least, you can up, you can actually upgrade your upgrade to your um upgrade to better apparel later. I mean, hell, if, if the box art is anything to go by. So anyway, mm -hmm. we've made we've made ourselves some torches, and Woo! with that, we have to go back to our. Well, actually, first let's talk to Peepa and just say, show her we've made fire sticks somehow with uh. I made fire. No, you didn't. Somehow a flammable goop in a stick. Yep. Yep. The goop. The goo of slimes is enough to light a fire, apparently. Even though we don't even have fucking flint to ignite it. Yep, very much. It's kind of weird. And boy, she gave us a broken branch. The, the slimes are combustible. Are they? No, yeah. they aren't. <clears throat> I was about to say, maybe it's more like you take the hardened pieces of the slime and use those as the flint. And like the rest of the slime is like gasoline. What is the hardened part of a slime? It's heart? Uh, it's brain? No, no, it no, it's brain. not, and it's not brain. the hardened, not it's hardened part, it's heartened part. Damn it, Matt. Right. Now let's put, let's put down a torch. Damn tabs. And we built an empty room. Yay. And we get points. What are the so, points uh, for? Yay, now ah. we can actually sleep at night with, night without, without the creepy crawlies got, getting in our oh, breath. Oh, because, yeah, I'm assuming just like Minecraft... Unless they could jump up two comes, blocks, so then we're a-okay. I'm going to say, yeah. I assume in Minecraft, like in Minecraft terms, whenever it gets dark, everything gets aggroed. Yeah. Kind of, sort of. Oh, you got a seed of life. These are essentially your heart containers. Sweetness. Yep. The seed it, do, do, do people of still life. Do, pe do people still pray to that useless Yggdrasil that's done nothing to help the world right now? Uh, Iki, Matt, what do you guys say? Huh? Uh, saying, they cut. Look... They've kind of forgotten about the gods. Okay, I, okay yeah, I was saying, to Ike, I was just saying, Nikki, in classic Dragon Quest fashion, are they still praying to that useless god, Yggdrasil, and how he doesn't do crap in this world? Um, not yet, they don't. Alright. Eventually, they'll. If I recall correctly, use... Chapter 2 revolves around. Oh, Ike, guys, Chapel. look! Our protagonist has an epiphany! Ooh! Now we've learned how to make that. I'm, 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 I'm going to the work. big pointy rock, right? So yeah, let's see how much we how much we need to make straw mattresses. We need uh three grassy leaves. That shouldn't be too hard. That's not straw. That's just a bed of leaves. <laughs> well, it's still it's still it's still it's still comfy all the same. Oh god, oh, comfy as leaves can be. That shouldn't be too hard. Wait. Oh oh oh, that's I right. See your slime. slime. Go kill There's one slime. slime. Beat the crap out of it. Those are cute. Do they have little <laughs> yeah. smiley faces. Yep. Yep. They're the slimes. Why they let me see them? Yeah. They're slimy. They're squishy. They're all destroy little. Destroy it. Uh, actually, you know what? You know what? That's it. That's actually the eyes are the hardened parts that you can use as flint. Yeah. Also, yeah. these, uh, the plumberries. Um, I don't think you could actually do anything with them in the demo yet. Because you don't have actually to... no, you can actually no, you can. They're you can? pretty much your food. They're pretty much your food store, food source. Yep, well, yeah, you have your food hunger. source, but you don't have a food meter yet, like cooking and stuff. Don't jinx it, Iki. <laughs> oh yeah, we we say this all because uh, did it just launch today? Yes, it yes, did. it actually launched as of today. Good old day. I'm downloading it as we speak. Nice. So I'm going. I'm going to go out later. Buy it. Yeah. Okay. And now we shall go. Now we should go place them, place them in our house because goddamn, we need a place to sleep. Uh, question: Does this game have online multiplayer? I don't think it does. Oh man, just a shame. Would be nice, if, nice if it did. Oh yeah, I should probably get rid of all these leaves, shouldn't I? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Get rid of all the. Make a new one. And 
Oh. And we built our first basic bedroom. Woo! Okay. So you can add on the so, actual houses out of this then. Yep. Mm -hmm. And we and we've gotten a chart which we can use to make bed basic bedrooms later. Well, she's happy. Oh, oh great! Hey. God damn it, Iki. Pay attention. Oh Let's... no. Built the sun is leave on. Whether it's night or day, blah blah blah. Sunsets, darkness, and darkness brings bad. Don't care. I just want to sleep. <laughs> I love it. Perfect. I want to oh. go to sleep without the god speaking to my ears. You're ear. staring off into space with your mouth open again. Hey, yeah, Mr. This... Krabs, you're getting all sweaty again. <laughs> this... Feels like time has been passing by. This game actually does have uh, some pretty good writing. I'll agree to that. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty... Especially like one little tidbit with an old man will meet up in a bit, we'll meet up a little. Oh bigger. goody, we got a broken branch. Hooray! Broken branch. I'm getting a bit hungry. So yeah, now she had to say that we're fucking hungry. Gosh, oh, man, dang it! You must be hearing things again. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I find that kind of funny. You know, it's no, like... you're not hungry. The goddess is trying to tell you that you're hungry and that you're stupid enough to believe her. No, I was more so thinking it's What's more upside? like it's. It'd be like uh, <laughs> like a mental hungry. thing where it's like. Yeah, it's like, so you know, I feel fun. perfectly fine. Hey, aren't you hungry? Wait, no. Wait, no. Pippa is hungry, finish. but you're not hungry. I know. Icky, like, I finished. Yeah, that's a good point. Oh, I'm sure we can eat these it's... leaves. Yeah. Right. They heal us. Uh, Steve, please talk. Finish. Sorry. Just... Don't oh. mind them. Oh, if I'm allowed to. But anyway, um, I got this feeling where it's like, yeah, I feel perfectly fine today. Don't you feel hungry? I'm hungry. <laughs> I need work. food. Ah, bats! Bats! Bats aren't bad. Drackies! There are the Drackies. I was more so thinking back to um, Touched, where it's like, just just out random, it's like, oh, I don't know if I should have done that. I'm hungry! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? It's it's mm. from Touched. I should do something about, something about this. I mean, what if there's, what if there's a random monster that just pop up out of nowhere? They can't come there into the towns. I know, I'm kidding. So is there just like an area of effect that just keeps them out when the gra when the ground is all light and stuff like that? Yeah, that was pretty much. It means that the goddess is blessing that area, and because of that, the monsters cannot go in. Is it possible to expand mm, for it? the most part? Uh, she, okay, so she so she asks us to give give her five five plume berries in exchange. Oh, and, yeah, and we got three in return. Now we're Yay. hungry. Yeah, no, I, no, sorry, Matt, how can we, uh, there's the hunger meter. <laughs> yeah, Matt, how do we, uh, expand this, like, safe zone out? I don't know. Oh, oh, wait a second, what's that sound? <laughs> that sound means it's probably time we stop the recording for now. So tune in next oh, time okay. as we continue on with the demo of Dragon Quest Builders. Till next time, everybody. Bye. Bye. Wait, what? Um, okay. <laughs>